Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Keep halakum. Now, welcome to uh, another class. I'm going over the uh, first uh, Medina book. And we're now in Ad Dars al Khams, the fifth lesson. So we have a, a conversation, a hiwar. Uh, so we're going to go through this and inshallah, uh, follow along. And um, you know, so if you have any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments. Okay. Uh, so first, uh, you have Saeedun. So Saeedun, Saeed is speaking. He says, Akitabu Muhammadin Hada Ya Yasiru. So is this Muhammad's book? Ya Ya Yasiru. So <clears throat> uh, I think we went over before the A uh, at the beginning indicates that it's a question. So this A uh, here, this Aleph. Is only to indicate that it's that he's going to ask a, a question. Okay. Um, then kitab, as we you know, we know kitab would normally have a tenween at the end because it's a, a book kitab one. But this is uh, what's called idafa in Arabic. So idafa you can use uh, a lot of times you use it for possession. So to indicate it's someone's uh, possession possession. So, and um, another thing you do is, okay, so basically, so like here it's, uh, okay, Kitab Muhammad, so it's Muhammad's book. So the, the, uh, the um, Mudaf, you have Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi. So Mudaf is what's being, in, it literally means added. Okay, so the Mudaf is the uh, Kitab. So what happens with the Mudaf is it loses one of its harakah, one of its vowel points. So instead of being Kitab one, it becomes kitabu, okay? Where well, you see the mudaf ilayhi, which is Muhammad, he's the possessor, possessor of the kitab, the book. He uh, he becomes, uh, this, the second word, the mudaf ilayhi becomes majroor, majroor, which means it basically, one of the signs of being majroor is that it gets a, a kesra, the word gets a kesra. And here um, it's, you know the he still has ten ween because you know the names uh, generally have ten ween at the end or at least the masculine names. So um, instead of getting we don't get rid of the domatain, it just becomes kesratain. So this is a sign when you see the kesratain, you know, and you see this word in front of it only has a, a domma, just one domma. This is a sign that this is a idafa. Uh, um, this is a modafa uh, modafile you know, con, uh, conjunction. So it's basically Kitabu Muhammadan. So that means the book of Muhammad. Like uh, a lot of us have, you know, kunyas. So like Abu Sarih, Abu Sarih, which means, you know, the father of Muhammad, Umu Sarih, right? So basically this is, that's what the, that is, is the Yudolfa construction. So it indicates that it is Muhammad's book. A Kitabu Muhammadan, and then you notice the hadha actually comes after. Because you know in English, he would say, is this Muhammad's book? You know, and so everything is, is actually would be backwards compared to how we do it in, in Arabic. You know, we say, is this Muhammad's book? And you know, that's how we translate it. But in Arabic, it's actually going to be the opposite way. Um, where it's going to be a kitabu. So literally be, okay, book, Muhammad, hadha, this, yeah, yes. Oh yes, so so and when we translate it though, so the hadha has to come, what comes after this mudaf um, construction? Okay, a kitabu Muhammadan hadha ya yasiru. So is this Muhammad's book? Yeah, yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. Oh, uh, yes, sir is also you know is, is a name, and you notice it's not yasirun. You know uh, you don't have when you, we use this ya. This is ya nida. If we call out to someone, then one of the things that happens to the, like, say, we're calling someone's name, like, you don't say, yeah, Muhammadun, you say, yeah, Muhammadu. You know, you drop off one of the uh, haraka, you know, so what, you know, so whether, whatever it's, um, it's a fat doma, whatever, you would drop off one, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, when you're calling out to someone, instead of, so instead of, yeah, yeah, sirun, it becomes, yeah, yeah, sirun. You know, in order to be grammatically correct, you'd have to say, yeah, yes, you don't. So, because you, if you notice here, yes, you don't, has 10 ween. So, the name normally has 10 ween. Yes, you don't. So, yes, you don't, he says, 
لا نو no. هذا كتاب حامدا هذا كتاب حامدا no this and uh, so if you notice this actually came before the uh idofa instruction so in in reply he was able to put have in front and so he says this and so uh we would say you know the, we don't have uh, is you know in arabic is understood you know so you, when we translate it, we'd have to say this is so literally is this have Kitabu, the book of Kitabu. So notice one of the Dhammas is gone now. So it's just one Dhamma. Kitabu Hamidin. And Hamid becomes Majurur. So it, uh, naturally it would be Hamidun because of Kitabu, because it's his book. You know, it's the Idolfa construction. Uh, his name becomes Majurur and then he gets a Kesratain instead of a uh, Dhammatain. You know, two Kesras. Okay. لا هذا كتاب حامد سعيد once again أين كتاب محمد where is the book of Muhammad okay of Muhammad Yasir he says هو على المكتب هناك so he says هو and he's referring back to the book as you, as you uh, may recall that every word in Arabic has an agenda um, so, you know, we would translate it as it, but, uh, you know, huwa, as we know, it means uh, he, you know, it means him, he or him. So uh, here it means, so we'd, it's saying huwa, ala, on, al-maktab, and notice it's al-maktabi, mimada, because of ala. Ala is a harf jar. So harf jar, it makes whatever comes after it, majroor, which in the sign of majroor is a kasra. So either it's, it's going to be a kesra or, or you know, kesratain, and there are exceptions to the rule. Uh, but normally this would be the case. So as we know, mekteb is, if it's um, nekira, if it's indefinite, it will be mektebun, right? And then when we add the alif lam, it becomes al mektebu. One of the dhammas goes away. You can no longer have ten ween when it's mu'araf, uh, when it's uh, definite. So, but because of the ala, it can no longer be a it's not al maktabu and now becomes al maktabi al maktabi and that has to become majroor because it's preceded by a harf a jar a preposition and then he says hunaka so he's saying that it's it's there or over over there hunaka okay who al maktabi hunaka okay on it's on a desk there over there saeed aina daftaru ammarin Aina daftaru ammarin. Where is the daftar? So daftar also would have ten ween if it's uh, indefinite. Daftarun, but we're actually making it mu'araf, right? We're making it definite because we're talking about the notebook of Ammar. It's his notebook. Okay, so when we make something definite, mu'araf, we get rid of one of the harakah. So you know, you can no, you can no longer have ten ween. So it has to be uh, daftaru, daftaru ammarin. And ammar, which would uh, naturally be ammarun, becomes ammarin. It becomes ammarin because it is now majroor, because of daftar, because it's idafa. So in meaning his notebook, okay? Aina daftaru ammarin. Where is ammar's notebook? Okay? Yes, so the answer is huwa. Referring back to deftar, so deftar is it's a, a masculine word, so we use huwa. Huwa ala maktabil mudarrisi. Huwa ala maktabil mudarrisi. So he says it is on the maktab, and notice the kasra under the ba because because why? Because harf jar before maktab. So the the harf jar makes maktab majroor, and it is the maktab, it is definite, it is not a maktab, it's not a, a desk, it is the desk of the teacher. So since it's definite, since it's in this idolfa construction, it loses one of its haraka. So it can't be ala maktabin al mudarisi. It is it, because it is the mudaris's maktab. It is, you know, it is a definite maktab, his his desk. So it becomes ala maktabil mudarisi. It is on the desk of the teacher. 
Sa'id. Qalamu man hadha ya aliyu. So qalamu, so notice, qalam is not, is not qalamun. Why? Because this is also idhafa. Because he's talking about a specific uh, uh, pen or pencil. You know, yani, well, here probably means a pen. So qalamu, the pen, and so it's the pen of men, of who. So he's asking, whose pen is this? Right, so since it's in Idafa, we lose one of the haraka. So it, can, it can't be tenween, so it can't be qalamun men. In order to get this expression correct, we have to drop one of the dhammas and it becomes qalamu men. Hada ya aliyu. So, so literally it's like the pen of who is this ya aliyu. So whose pen is this ya aliyu. And notice Ali only has one dhamma. Why? Because of the ya. Ya aliyu. So it's ya and nida. Aliyun. So see, notice without the, the ya in front of it, we're going to have the dhamma 10. We're going to have the two dhammas. We're going to have the 10 mean. Okay, Ali, he says, Hada qalamun mudarrisi. Hada qalamun mudarrisi. So he said, this is the pen of, we know it's definite. Why? Because there's a, oops, sorry. There's a dhamma. There's only one dhamma over the meme. So, if we this and there's no alif lam, so we this would indicate that it's idafa, that it's an idafa construction. Hada qalamul mudarrisi. This is the pen of the teacher, and the teacher is majrur because because of qalam, because um it is mudafi lehi. Okay, so it is in the uh, mudafi lehi. Okay, Said, aina haqibatun mudarrisi. Where is the uh, bag of the teacher? Okay. Um, <clears throat> so it's so haqiba once again is uh mudaf and mudaris is mudaf ilayhi. So you notice, so since it's mudaf, we had to get rid of one of the dhammas, so it can't be haqibatun. It, it comes, I know where is haqiba to the haqi, the haqiba, the book, uh, sorry, book bag, or you know, it could be like a, a bag or a suitcase. Uh, I know haqiba to al mudari si. Mudari si because it's in uh, the Adolfa constructions. It is mudafi lehi. Okay, it, is, it becomes majrur. Okay. Aliyun. Here. So notice he's saying here, not hua here, because haqiba has a tan at the end, which usually, and, and there are exceptions, the, you know, but usually that should indicate to you that it's a feminine word, that haqiba is feminine. So instead of saying haqiba again, you could just say here, which we would translate as it. Here, taht. Al Maktabi, here taht al Maktabi, and notice mak Maktab is majrur again. You know why? Because of taht. Taht is also from haruf ajar, so under. It's under the desk. It is under the desk. So whenever you see, you know, fi taht ala, all these haruf ajar, it makes the word after it uh, majrur. Okay, and it's one kasra because it is muarif. It is definite. Okay, it's Al Maktab, so it's under the desk. Okay, Tamarin exercises. Ajib an al asilat al atiya. So answer regarding the following sentences. Okay, so we can go back to the conversation and get the answer to all these questions. So you want to try to go through these on your own. Um, and inshallah I can we, we can go through them real quick. So Aina, remember means where? And so what so you have to look at this and what would be the harakat, what would be the teskil, like what would be the vowel points. So since it's kitab Muhammad, this will indicate to you, you know, it's Muhammad's book, right? So it's uh, idafa. So you can't say kitabun Muhammad, Muhammadun. We have to change the vowel points, the ending vowel points. This is uh, what we call sarf in Arabic. So <clears throat> aina, hat would, hat, we'd have to lose one of the, uh, one of the harakat which you know be one of the dhammas and it can because uh, it can't be tenween anymore so it becomes aina kitabu muhammad din muhammadin why it's majrur because it is mudafilay because of kitab kitabu muhammadin you can't say kitabu muhammadun it wouldn't make sense it wouldn't work so aina kitabu muhammadin din with the kasratain uh under the dab aina kitabu so once again, 
It can't be kitabun. It has to be kitabu because it is mudaf. Um, and then ammar is mudaf ilayhi. So ayna kitabu ammar rin. Rin, kasratain. Okay, it's, it becomes majroor. Okay. Ayna haqibatu al mudarri si. Al mudarri si. Why? Because haqiba, the ta, uh, ten, I'm sorry, it's um, it's because it's idaf construction. So you have to put a dhamma. Um, you take away one of the dhammas on the ta marabuta, and so it becomes haqibatul mudarri si, becomes majroor. So now we can look at you know the answer to these questions. Just look uh, back to the hiwa, uh, the conversation. So it says, Aina kitabu Muhammadan. You can see that Yasser, he answered. Okay, right here, so Saeed answered that, asked, he asked that question, Aina Kitabu Muhammadin, and Yasser answered. So right here's your answer. Who al maktabi hunaka? Okay, and next question. Aswalathani, Aina Kitabu Ammarin. Where is the book of Ammar? So <clears throat> we just have to go back to, uh, let's see, back to the Hiwar conversation. Uh, he did mention a daftar, we did mention a Kitab. Right, so but Deftar is like a notebook, so he, probably what, what they're referring to. You see, Said he asked, Aina Deftaru Ammarin, and yes, and he answered, Huwa ala maktabin mudarisi. It is upon the teacher's desk. Okay, ala maktab, maktabil mudarisi. Okay, uh, and last question, Aina haqibatun mudaris. So, where is the bag of the teacher? So, where's the teacher's bag? So we go back to the conversation. We see Saeed, he, he uh, asked, Aina haqibatun mudarrisi. So he asked that question. And Ali, he answered, Hiya. Why is it Hiya? Because haqiba has a tal mubuta. It's a feminine word. Hiya, taht, tahta. <coughs> so under, taht al maktabi. It is under the desk. Okay. Move right along. Okay. أضف الكلمات كلمة sorry كلمة الأولى إلى الثانية. So أضف is referring back to the word إضافة. So أضف is the أمر is the command form. So the, the, it's telling you to uh, make the مضاف you know the you know, the كلمة الأولى the first word which is مضاف to الثانية the second word. Okay. الأولى is the cardinal uh, feminine form. Uh, the number. So, if we, if, if it was a masculine word, like we could say, um, let's see, al qalam al awwad, the first uh, pen. But because it is tad mobuta, in the case to us that uh, that it is a feminine word, so it can't be an kalima an awwala. That doesn't work. It becomes an kalima an ula, the first word. Okay. So adif al kalima tan tan ula. Ila to Athania. And you see, Thani also it has a Tamil Buddha. If it was masculine, it would be Athani. Because it's Kalima, Kalima is a feminine word, it, it has to be Athania. We just add a Tamil Buddha and it makes it so this uh, add the first word to the second word. It's literally what it means add or combine. Adlif, Adlif, and Kalima and Ula, Ila Thania. Okay. So we have um, see an example. You have Kitabun. Okay, they give you the these first, uh, they give you two examples here. So, kitabun, notice it has a tenween because it is nakira, it is indefinite, it is a book. And Muhammadun, so Muhammad is, you know, the proper name, it comes with tenween, Muhammadun. So, in order to make it idafa, then what do we have to do? We get rid of one of the haraka on ba. So, instead of kitabun, it becomes kitabu. Because we want to say it's Muhammad's book, not that it's a it's a book. So we're making it Mu'arif, we're making it definite. And uh, Muhammad, since he's uh, Mudaf ilayhi, then he becomes, uh, his name becomes Majroor. So it's Kitabu, not Muhammadun, Muhammadin. You get to Kasratain. So whenever you see a Kasra uh, on the word, that would indicate to you that it is Majroor. Okay? In most cases, and not every case. Okay, and then also we have here uh, Mektabun. Mektabun is a office or a desk. Sorry, so in this case, it's referring to a desk. Mektabun, which it has a tenween because it's nakira. Al-Mudarrisu. Al-Mudarrisu 
because of alaf lam, we know it's mu'arraf, so it can't be tanween at the end, so it, it becomes al mudarrisu okay, the teacher. So to put it in idafa, become maktabu, we get rid of one of the dhammas on maktab, so it becomes mak, uh, maktabu al mudarri si, al mudarri si. Why? Because al mudarris is mudaf ilayhi, it becomes majroor. So you can go through, you want to practice these on your own. I go. I can go through them uh, for you one time, real quick, and you know you'll get good at understanding how to put something into the idafa construction. So we have qalamun, right? So it has a uh, ten ween on it. Hamidun is a proper name. It has has a ten ween at the end. So what do we have to do? So it's going to be. We're going to make it. So we got pen, a pen, and Hamid. We have Hamid. It was a name. So we want to make it Hamid's pen. So all we can do is get rid of the um, one of the dhammas, so it becomes qalamu, hami, and be, so is it still hamidun, or do we change it? Since it's mudaf ilayhi, you have to make it majroor. So it becomes qalamu hamidun. Qalamu hamidun. Okay, same thing with the next one. We have baytun, a house, and we have abbasun, which is a proper name. So we want to make it, we want to make it definite. We want to make it Abbas's house, not that it's, that it's just some house. So we get rid of one of the dhammas, becomes Beitu Abbasin. Abbasin. He has he has to become Majroor as he's the uh, possessor. He's the Mudafi lady. Okay, we have a room, Ghurfatu, uh, sorry, Ghurfatun, with a Tanween, Aliyun. Okay, also proper name with a Tanween. So we have just get rid of one of the dhammas. And you you know you see how this this goes like I'm sure you you all could probably do this on your own. I'm gonna go through it real quick so you have a this as a, for a reference. So it becomes Ghurfatu Ali Yin Ali Yin. Okay, Deftarun is a notebook. Saidun is a proper name. We want to make it Deft uh, Saeed's Deftar his notebook. So make it Deftaru Saeedin. Mendilun can mean a, a napkin or a handkerchief. Yasirun, so we have a uh, handkerchief or a napkin in Yasir, it's a proper name. So it becomes Mendilu Yasirun, so it's his, his handkerchief. Mendilu Yasirun. Qamisun, <clears throat> a shirt. And Amarun is a proper name. We want to make an Ammar shirt, so it becomes, we get rid of one, uh, one of the Dhammas, we can't have Tanween on the Qamis no, anymore, so it becomes Qamisu Ammarin. Okay. Sarirun, a bed, and Kharidun is a proper name. We want to make it Khalid's bed, so we make it Sariru Khalidun. Not Sarirun, Sariru Khalidun. Okay, so moving right along. Miftahun, a, um, sorry, a key. Al Baytu, the house. Okay, so uh, Bayt, this is something is definite, and we want the key to be definite. Right now it's Nakira because it goes wide, it has Tanween at the end. Has two dhammas. Miftahun. So, in order to make it definite and put it in the Yadolfa construction to make it the key of the house or the house key, then we just drop one dhamma and it becomes Miftahu al Bayti, right? Miftahu al Bayti. So, the house key. Dukkanun is a shop or a store. Dukkanun. Notice there's a shadda over the calf. So you have to combine the del with the cap, with the sound of the cap. Dukkanun. Atajiru. Atajiru is the merchant. Okay, so we want to make it the merchant shop. Just drop the Dhamma. Dukkanut. Dukkanut. Tajiri. Not Atajiru. So it has to be Dukkanut Tajiri. So there's the uh, merchant, the businessman, Yani, is his shop. <coughs> okay, Beitum, we have a house. And Al Muhandisu, the engineer. We want to make it the engineer's house. So to put it in the Dafa becomes goes from Baytun to Baytu. And this becomes Al Muhandisi. Baytun Muhandisi. Ismun, a name. Al Waladu, the boy. You want to make it the boy's name, right? So get rid of the Dhamma. Ismun Waridi. Ismun Waridi. Kitabun Allah. Kitabun Allah. So kitab is a book, 
but we're going to talk about a law's book. We'll make it a law's book. So just get rid of one of the dhammas. So no longer it could be kitabun, it becomes kitabu, a law, and then a law actually we get a kasra. So it becomes kitabullahi, kitabullahi, okay? Bintun, a, a girl or a daughter. Bint can mean girl or daughter, okay? Bintun. So right now it's nakira, and we have at-tabibu, the doctor. So we want to make it the doctor's daughter, okay? She's the daughter of the doctor. So just drop that, one of those dhammas, and it becomes bintut to tabibi. Bintut, bintut tabibi, okay? So put a kasra at the end of tabib, it becomes majroor. Okay, miftahun as sayaratu. Okay, so miftahun is nakira, is a uh, key, a sayaratu, the car to make it uh, the, the car key. Um, then you uh, just get rid of one of the dhammas, miftahus sayaratu, miftahus sayaratu. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Ikra waktub ma'a dobti awakhir and kalimat. So read and write with dobd. So they want you to vowelize, you know, you put um, the right haraka at the end, awakhir at the ends, and kalimat at the kalimat. Okay, so show you understand. So here we have bab, and then we have al madrasa. So bab, babun is a door, al madrasa. So we want to indicate that it's the door of the school, al madrasa. So what do you do at the end? So, so in order to make it idafa, Remember, get rid of one of the dhammas. So it becomes babul madrasa t because the mudafi uh, is going to become madrur. Babul madrasa t. So it's the school door, the, sc the door of the school. Okay. Uh, we have himaran in arajalu. So we have a donkey and the man to indicate that it's, and you know, that it's the man's donkey. We just put it, and if you, you know, uh, as you uh, progress in reading, when you look at this, you know, on the, in the context, you're going to automatically know, you know, you, you don't have to, you know, you're going to look at this and you're going to be, oh, himar, himarun rajuli. it is the donkey of the man. You're going to know by the context that it's, uh, you know, the, or the man's donkey. So, but just uh, the practice it for reading. So you uh, once again, uh, you can't have ten ween on the mudaf. So you just have one uh, dhamma, and it comes himaru arajul li, and you get a kasra at the end of arajul the man, the man's donkey. Okay, baitun uh, hamidun. So it becomes baitu hamidin. Okay, Hamid's house. Siyaratun al mudiru. So it's uh, we want to make it the. The director's car or the manager and mudir, so it becomes siyaratun mudiri. Okay, mendilun amarun. So it is the handkerchief or the napkin of amar. So you just say mendilu amarun. Ismun is a name at talib, the student. We want to make it the student's name, so it becomes ismut talibi. Okay, as you can see, you know, I'm sure, you know, inshallah, you're getting the hang of it by now. You know, Baytun, just get rid of the, uh, one of the Dhammas, Baytullahi, Baytullahi, Baytullah, okay? Fi, oh, so here this is different. Um, cause if we just had Kitab one and then a law, and then we want to make it a law's book, then we just get rid of the one of the Dhammas and it becomes Kitab law, right? But look, here we have a fi in front of Kitab, okay? So that gives us a different rule that we got to follow. So it can't be. Because of the fee, it can't be fi kitabullah. You can't have that anymore. Because a fi is a harfajar. And what does harfajar do? It makes the word after it majroor. Majroor. So, <clears throat> and the indication, the sign of something being majroor is what? It gets a kasra, right? Either a kasra tain or, or one kasra. So, since this is idof, um, this is the idof construction, this is a mudof. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, so kitab, it can't be a kitabu. It now we now have to take that dhamma and make it into a kasra, in order to make it a, you know in Allah's book. Fi kitab Allah. So it's in Allah's book. Fi kitab 
I'm sorry, it's Fi Kitab Allahi. So you notice even the pronunciation changes with Allah's name in that. Fi Kitab Allahi. Fi Kitab Allahi. Okay? So we want to put a Kasra and it no longer has a Dhamma on Kitab. And we're going to see, so we're going to give us two more examples of this. Because you have, okay, if in the Idolfic instruction, if the Min's not there, and you just have Bait and Mudaris, it would be Bait and Mudarisi, right? But since we have Min, is the Ta can no longer have a Dhamma. It becomes Majrua because of Min. So you have to say Min Bait al Mudarisi. Min Bait al Mudarisi from the teacher's house. Okay? Min Bait al Mudarisi. And same thing here. Uh, standing alone without without ala, it's maktub uh, maktabun mudiri, the uh, director's desk. But we're gonna say ala on maktabun mudiri. So because of ala, it can no longer be maktabu. It can't have a dhamma. It has to have a kasra. So now we say ala maktab ala maktabil mudiri ala maktabil mudiri. Okay, it's the next uh, next one, the next uh, tadrib. It says iqra, read. Okay, aina. So you should be able to uh, put this together. Aina baitun mudarisi. Aina baitun mudarisi. And the answer, huwa ba'idun. It is far. Huwa ba'idun. Okay. And the Quranu. And the Quranu is Quranu because of out of nam, we know it's not nakira. We know that it's mu'arif. Ma'rifa, so we can't have ten mean at the end because of the al Qur'an. So it's al Qur'anu. If it was by itself, Qur'anun. So al Qur'anu, Kitabullahi. So Qur'an is Allah's book. Al Qur'anu, Kitabullahi. Okay. Let's just make sure we don't skip nothing. Okay. Next page. Al Ka'batu. There's a one dhamma over the ta. Why? Because out of land. So it's ma'arab. And ka'batu, the ka'ba, baytullahi. It's Allah's house. And ka'batu, baytullahi. Muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallama rasulullahi. Rasulullahi is mudah. Okay. Kharja al mudarrisu min ghurfatin mudiri. So here they I got a uh, verb for us. Kharaja is the past tense, which means he exited. It's for huwa. He exited or he, or he left. So kharaja and mudarisu, the teacher and mudarisu. It's mudarisu with the one dhamma at the end because of why? Because of the alif lam. All right. So we know it's uh, ma'arif. Okay. It's definite. The teacher. Kharaja and mudarisu min. From and this is a harfajar. So what happens to the word after the harfajar? It be, becomes majrur. So we can't say say we can't say min ghurfatul mudiri. We can't use a dhamma because of the, the min it has to become ghurfatil. It has to have a kasra. Min ghurfatil mudiri. If we, if he uh, the the teacher he left from min ghurfatil mudir from the uh, teachers. I'm sorry, the director's room or the manager's room. Okay, the person in charge. Min ghurfatin mudiri. Okay. Hada baytu hamidan wa dharika baytu khalidan. Okay, so notice both hamid and khalid became majroor because uh, is the, um, the Adolfa construction meaning so that uh, this hada, this is hamid's house wa dharika and that is baytu khalidan. That is khalid's house. Okay. All right, Ibnu. Okay, so notice Ibn, Ibn if it's by itself, it's going to be Ibn Nun. It's going to have ten ween. But we're, we're not just, it's Ibn, and Ibn can be boy or it can mean son. So we're not just talking about any boy or any son. We're talking about the son, the Ibn of Amar, right? So it's Idolfa, so it becomes Ibnu. So you drop one of the dhammas, you know, Ibnu Amarin, with a kesaratain at the end. Ibnu Amarin. So Amar's son, and it's telling you about him. He's Talibun. He's a Talib. He's a student. Ibn Ammarin Talibun. Wabinu. And notice I don't say wa ibnu. You know, because of why? Because of the Hamza uh Hamza Tawasl. That's a Hamza Tawasl. So remember Hamza Tawasl when you have 
uh, something that comes in front of it. And then a lot of times, you know, with Hamza Tawasa, you you go right, um, you cross right over it. You you drop the sound, like you no longer pronounce the the Hamza, right? So so because of the wow, this wa meaning and in front of it, I you know drop the uh, the Hamza and I go straight to the ba. So I say webinu, webinu, not webinu. It's webinu, right? So and the uh, webinu. So if but if I stop, and this is just for reading, like in, in reading, like everything, you see everything uh, connects as a flow to it. So if I stop here, if I say ibnu Ammar and wa wa, and then I stop, and then I return to the sentence, and I, I say ibnu yasinun tajinun, you know, then I, I would pronounce the hamza. But for the flow of reading, uh, when the, with, if I continue, then I, I go straight uh, straight to the back. I go straight over that, that uh, Hamza. And I no longer pronounce it. So, Ibn Ammar Tarimun. So, Ammar's son is a Tarim. He's a student. Wabnu and the son of Yasirun. Yasirun. Okay. Yasir's son, Tajirun, is a merchant. Okay. He's he's in he's in he's in Tijara, he's in some type of business. Okay, he's a businessman. Webinu, Yasirun, Tajirun, Tajirun. Why? Because it's not affected by the Udolfa. So it still has ten ween, Tajir. Okay. Just like Taribun, it's still it's still there's nothing there's basically words that have ten ween, um, and they have you know, it's a dhamma, like two dhammas, which is the you could say it's natural state. It's going to retain that natural state until something comes along that changes it, whether it's a harfajar, a mudaf construction, or the, or a verb. You know, if it becomes a mafrun bihi, which we'll get into. Other than that, the, the regular state when it's standing by itself, like nothing is affecting tajir, so it's it remains tajirun, just like nothing is affecting taught up here. So it becomes so it's just taribun, just because there's nothing to change it. Um, to Majrur or other than that, okay? Beitu Mudarrisi, Ba'idun, so the teacher's house is for Beitu Mudarrisi, Ba'idun, wa Beitu Tajiri, Beitu Tajiri, so notice Ta is from Haruf Ashamsiya, right? Because I went straight to the, uh, so we say At-Tajiru, we don't say Al-Tajir, we say at tajir. Okay, you go straight to the ta. So that's why in the Idolf construction, you say wa tut tajir. tut tajir. You don't say baytul tajir. You don't go to the lamb. You go right over the the hamza, right over the lamb, straight to the ta. Wa tut tajiri qaribun. And the merchant's house is close. So baytun mudarrisi ba'idun. The uh, teacher's house is far. tajiri qaribun, and the house of the merchant is close. Hada miftah sayarati. Hada miftah sayarati. This is the uh, car key. Okay. Aina miftah beiti. Aina miftah beiti. Where is the house key? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, min. Uh, Min enta ya walad ya waladu. Oh, okay. My, I'm sorry. It's men enter ya waladu. Okay, men enter. So meaning, who are you? Men enter. Who are you? Ya waladu. And it's not ya waladun. Why? Because ya nida. Ya nida makes it lose one of its haraka. It loses one of its dhammas. And so when we're addressing someone, you know, <clears throat> if they have ten ween on their end. Uh, I'm sorry, on the, at the end of their name, uh, then we just, uh, or their title, then we drop one of the dhammas, so it's only one dhamma. So we say, Men anta ya waradu. Who are you, oh boy? And he said, Anab. So notice once again, Hamza Tawasab. Like if you see this sign, you know, I know it's small, but um, that's Hamza Tawasab. Like it, it's indicating that for you. That means this, um, <clears throat> the letter before it, it goes straight to the next letter. You skip over the sound of the Hamza altogether. Now, if you stop, that's different. If he says, Anna, Ibn Abbas. If he just says, Anna, and then he stops and said, then he would say, then he pronounced the Hamza. Anna, Ibn Abbas. Okay. But for the flow of reading, if you're, uh, if you're continuing to read, you say, Anna, Ibn Abbas. 
and Abnu Abbas, and because of the Hamza al Wasl. Okay, I am the son of Abbas, so I am Abbas's son, and Abnu Abbas. Okay, Wa Wabnu. Once again, Hamza al Wasl. So it's not Wa Ibnu. It's Wabnu. Wabnu. Go straight to the ba. I'll go right over the Hamza al Wasl. Wabnu Men Huwa. Wabnu Men Huwa. And whose son is he? So they want to know. Uh, who who is the father of Abbas? Um, he's the son of who? Okay, Webinu Men. He's the son of who is he? Okay, all right. Whose son is he? Webinu Men Hua. Huab Huabinu. Once again, Hamza Tawasim. We go right over to Hamza. Huabinu Huabinu Khadidun. Huabinu Khadidun. He is the son of Khad. So Khad is his father. Okay. Aina Masjidu. So it can't be, it's, we're talking about a specific masjid, we're not talking about a nakir, you know, indefinite masjid, we're talking about the masjid of Rasulullah. So it's, so we have to get rid of one of the harakah, so it becomes aina masjidu, and not, not masjidun, aina masjidu rasulullahi, and rasulullah, I'm sorry, rasulullahi, and aina masjidu rasulullahi. Why is it rasulullahi, not rasulullahi? Because a masjid in front of it. Okay, so this is the adopt. In the Adolfa um, construction, so it is the masjid of Rasulullah. So the the second word in the Adolfa construction gets what? It, it becomes majrur, it gets kasra, right? And it's only one kasra because it is Adolfa. He's a, he's the messenger of Allah, Rasul. So if it's by itself, it's because um, you know Rasulin by itself has a ten ween. You know, when, when you make it Rasulullah, then you have to get rid of one of the Dhammas. So you make it Rasulullah. And now because it's it's the Idafa with Masjid, you know, it's the Masjid of Rasulullah. Now we have to uh, make that Dhamma into a Kasra. We have to make it Majrua. So it becomes Aina Masjidu Rasulullah. Rasulullah. With a Kasra under the lamp. Aina Masjidu Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So where's the masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, and masjid is a masculine word, so we say huwa, huwa. Okay, for it, huwa fil Medina munawwara. Huwa fil Medina, Medina til munawwara, munawwarati. Okay, it is in because of the fee, it's majrur, so we have put a kasr under the ta. Fil Medina til munawwarati. Okay, it's in. Al Medina and Munawra, one of the names of Al Medina. Okay. Now, next one. Bintu Hamidin, Bintu Hamidin, Hamid's daughter. Fil Madrasa T. So it's Madrasa T because of Fi, because of the Harfa Jar in front of it. Bintu Hamidin, Fil Madrasa T. Wa Bintu Muhammadin, Fil Jamiati. Okay. And the daughter of Muhammad is in the university. So the daughter of Hamid, bintu Hamidun, Hamidin bin Madrasa T, okay, with the Kesra, because it's Majroor. So the daughter of Hamid is in the school. Um, so that would mean, like, you know, like a regular public school could be Benawi, um, Benawi, or Ibtida'i, it could be primary or secondary. Bintu Hamidin bin Madrasa T, wa bintu Muhammadin bin Jami'ati. And the Daughter of Muhammad is in the Jamia. She's in the university. Okay. Ismun Mudarisi Saeedun. Okay. The the name Ismu. So notice Ism, if it's by itself, it's Ism. It has a ten ween. Because it's Mudaf, it become it becomes Ismu. Okay. Ismun Mudarisi. So the name of Al Mudarisi with the Kesra on the scene because it's Mudafile. Um <coughs> The name of the teacher is Saeedun. Saeedun is the name of the teacher. Okay. Was, was, if you notice, once again, we have Hamza to Wasl. Because it is wow here, uh, there's wa. We're going to skip over the Hamza. We're not going to say wa ismun muhandisi. We're going to say wasmun muhandisi. Wasmun muhandisi khoridun. And the name of the engineer is khorid. Okay. Next one. Am Am uh, means uh, it means uncle. Okay, it's paternal uncle on the father's side. 
Okay, and it has a shadda over the over the meme. So it's am. So you connect those sounds together. Am. Am mudaribi. It's the so by itself it's ammun, since it's uh mudaf. We're gonna get rid of one of the dhammas and it becomes Ammutaribi, the paternal uncle of the student, okay, on the father's side. Ammutaribi Ghaniyun. He's rich. Ghaniyun. Okay. Babul Masjidi Maftuhan. The door of the masjid, Babul Masjidi Maftuhan is open. Wa Babul Madrasati Mukhlaqan. Mukhlaqun. Okay. And the door of the school is Mukhlaq. It's Mukhlaqun. It's closed. Okay. Khalu. So this is the uh, the other form of uncle, but on the mother's side. This is the maternal uncle. Khalu. Okay. So it, by itself it would be Khalun because it's Mudaf. It's Khalu. Khalu Hamidan Faqirun. So the, the Khal, the uh, maternal uncle of Hamid, on his mother's side is faqirun, is, is poor. Khalu hamidan faqirun. Sayyaratu abbasin fi shari'i. Sayyaratu abbasin fi shari'i. Uh, Abbas's car is in the street. Okay. Right. Ibnu men anta. Okay, means whose son are you? Ibnu men anta. Okay. And notice the uh, Hamza of Wasl. So we're not going to say Ana Ibnu. We're going to say Anabnu. Anabnu Mudarisi. I am the son of the teacher. Anabnu. Anabnu Mudarisi. Ainan Kadabu. Where is the dog? Hua. So dog is a masculine. It's a, uh, what's it? You know, it's a masculine dog and it's, it's a masculine word. If you want to say a female dog, you will put a tab at the end. Okay. Ainan Kadabu. Hua. Tahta Sayarati. He is Tahta Sayarati. And Sayara is Madru because of Tah, because of the Harfa Jar. He is under the car. Kawin. Okay, so this is the uh, command form. Uh, Kawin means make or create. Okay, Kawin bring, you know, is to bring something into being because, you know, Kana Yakunu means to be or exist. So Kawin is to make something be. So we, we translate it as like create or make. Kawin Jumalin Mufidatin, you know, make um, complete, or you could say, you know, sentences uh, beneficial. So, meaning like, you know, a yeah, complete sentence in Arabic. Jumalin sentences is the plural. Jumalin Mufidatin, bi mel in faraghi fi ma yali. By filling in mel in farag, the empty space here, the blank, and faraghi fi ma yali, and what follows, fi ma yali. Okay, so here, you basically got to find um, <clears throat> words to, uh, looks like, you know, you're going to be using the Idolf, um construction. And uh, you're going to, this is, uh, let's see. Okay, so you got to find a, a proper, you know, word that would make sense in the sentence. So like we have al-bayti mukhlaqan. So it's a, you already have the ta, um, um, the kasra under the ta. So you know it's Idolf construction, it's majrur. So what would... What what we, what could you say? Mukhlaqan means closed. Be closed or locked. So what would you say as far as the house? Something regarding the house that's mukhlaqan. So uh, a word that we use that we learn is bab. Like you could say. So and you have to put it in the dolphin construction. So you can't say it wouldn't be babun. You make it babun beiti. Babun beiti mukhlaqan. Okay. Uh, next one. Aina blank asiyarati. So you have to find a word that will go with that. In the Idolf construction, we went over miftah, right? Key. So that would make sense. You could say, Aina miftahus, miftahus. Drop, make sure to drop one of the dhammas. Miftahus sayyarati. Okay, Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, rasulu. This should be easy for uh, any uh, one Muslim, you know, you know watching the channel. Uh, you know, Muhammad is rasulu, rasulullahi. Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, rasulullahi. Okay. So, so something at Tobibi Baid. So you could, you know, choose anything like uh, the house, you know, Bait Tobibi Baid. So the, the doctor's house is far. And the Quranu, this would be an easy one for any Muslim, Kitabullah. Quranu Kitabullah. Okay. Khadijatu, okay, she's a girl. 
So more than likely, uh, they want you to put this into the Adolphin construction as far as daughter of, right? This is Khadija, and then Hamid is a, is a man's name. So we could say, I mean, and you, I mean, you could use other things, but they, this this is what they they gave you bint in this lesson. So I'm assuming they would want you to use bint. So Khadija to bint to Hamida. Okay, Aina, I'm sorry, Anna, blank and mudaris. So Anna. So it could actually, this could be you for a boy or a girl. So if it's, you know, a boy, you could say, uh, I am the son of the um, teacher. And if, it, if it's a girl, she, you can say, <clears throat> Okay, something that something that belongs to the student is broken. Right? And so it has, and you see it's maksurun. It's the uh, adjective is masculine. It doesn't have a ten mobuta. So the thing that is that from the student that's broken, it would have to be a masculine word. Like you can't, um, you know, you can't use a, a feminine word because the adjective is not has to agree in gender. The adjective is not feminine. It doesn't have a ten mobuta at the end. So um, we could say, "Palam." Palam is a masculine word. Palamun mutaribi maksurun. So the uh, student's pen is broken. Okay, bab such and such maftuhan. So that could be anything as long as it's a masculine word. Why? Because maftuh is masculine. If it had, if maftuh has a tan at the end of it's maftuhatun, then we have to use a, a, a feminine word here, right? In order to agree with the gender. But since maftuh is masculine, we could say baitun babun baiti maftuhan, babun masjidi maftuhan, right? Bab dukani at the store, maftuhan. Okay. Kharaj and mudarisu, min, blank, and mudir. So I'll give you a second to think of what would that that what would make sense here. Okay. Kharaja, he went out, and mudarisu, the teacher, min, blank, and mudir. So we like you could say the example they gave before was the office, right? The maktab. Okay. So how would we say that? Kharaj and mudarisi. I'm sorry, خرج المدرس من مكتب المديري من مكتب المديري from in uh, the um, in its مكتبي with a كسر why because of min okay so don't forget the حرف الجار so you can't it won't be it won't be it's a dof construction right إضافة so you don't you wouldn't say من مكتب المديري because of the min the حرف الجار it has to become مجرور it has to get a كسر من مكتب المديري. Okay, the next one. صحي التركي uh, تركيبات التارية. صحي is the verb for to make something uh, correct, right? Make something صحي. Okay, جع يعني صحها صحها هو جعله صحيحا. He made it صحي. So صحي is correct. التركيبات the um, you can say the orders, the order instructions uh, or structures التارية. So, um, okay, so let's see what, what they have here. Okay, so you see uh, the, basically the order of the word. They want you to make it um, correct, right? So, so, so here you have, you have an alif lam on the qalam. And so we want to say it's the qalam of the talib, of the student, right? But it wouldn't make sense if you say al qalam at tari b it's not idafa. You don't need an alif lam for qalam. Right, because it's uh, mudaf, so you get rid. So you get rid of the alif nam, it becomes qalam qalam taribi, and then you can, um, I guess you could, def you know, you could say, you know, it's maksur or whatever. You can add to that. Okay, babu uh, sayara What's uh, what's wrong here? The uh, you see that it's bab. So it's babu. It's idafa. So the mudaf ilayhi has to be what has to be majrur. Right, so it has to have a castle. Babu Sayarati. Okay. Bintu Hamidun. Next one. Bintu Ham Hamidun. It has a, a two dhammas. So what's you know uh, wrong with that? In the Adolf, uh, the Adolf construction, the second word has to get has to become majrur, has to get kasrat. Uh, here would be kasratain. So in order to correct it, you have to make it bintu hamidun. Okay. Ar Rasulullah. Ar Rasulullah. So what's wrong with that? 
it's not Adolf, it's not correct, you know, in, in Adolf. So it, it's, he is Ar-Rasul, he is the messenger, but the Adolf Lam is not needed in the Adolf instruction, not for the first word, the um, Adolf, it's, um, it's going to be, uh, you're going to change, so it's, so you just need to get rid of the Adolf Lam. It means to make it Rasulullahi, Rasulullahi. Ismul Walida, Ismul Walida, Walida. Okay, so obviously you see what's uh, wrong here. The fatha over the dal. There's no reason to, for it to be a fatha. The mudafi uh, lehi has to be what? Majroor. The word is added to it, has to be majroor. So it becomes ismun waladi, waladi, with a kasra at the end. Okay, ibnun al mudarrisi. Ibnun al mudarrisi. So, you know, in the idafa construction, you can't, for the uh, uh, mudaf, the first word, you can't have tenween. Right, so the first rule is you have to get rid of one of these dumbas and make it Ibn Mudarisi. Ibn Mudarisi. Okay, so here they have uh, some words of Nida. Um, I'll show you how the Nida works. So we have Muhammadun. Okay, and when we're gonna when we call him and we use that yeah in front of his name, then you have to. Uh, you can no longer have ten ween. You have to get rid of one of the dumbas. So it goes from Muhammadun, and then when you say, put yeah in front of it, you say yeah Muhammadu. Ya Muhammad, do okay, okay. Khalidun, and we're gonna when we when we call out to him, we're gonna say Ya Khalidu. We don't say Ya Khalidun. We're gonna say Ya Khalidu. Get rid of one of the dumbas. Okay, Ustadun, Ustadun. Um, when we call to him, we say Ya Ustadu, Ya Ustadu. Waladun, Ya Waladu, Ya Waladu. Okay, Ekra waktu ma'adobti awakhir kalimat. So. Here's basically so they can see that you you know understand. So you just um, you because you want to write the uh, the vowel, vowel, vowelization, the dopt of the end of end of the words. So we have yeah in front of Ali. It can't be Ali Yun, right? So it becomes yeah Ali you. And similarly, Abbasun becomes yeah Abbasu. Okay, Sheikhun. We say you know um, yeah Sheikhu. We don't say yeah Sheikhun. Yeah Sheikhu. Ya Rajalu, okay. Ya Sirun, Ya Yas, Ya Siru, Ya Amaru, Dakturun, Ya Daktu, Dak, Dukturu, Dukturun, Ya Dukturun, Dukturu, sorry, Ya Dakturu. Okay. Now, so now, um, it says, Iqra al Midal al Ati, read the following example. Tumma, then, Kelwin, make as Iratan. Miflahu Mushirun Idiswara Tariya. Okay. So read the following example, then make uh, questions. Asidatan is the plural of Sual, uh, Asida, questions. Miflahu, like it, make questions like it, uh, meaning this example. Mushirun Idiswara Tariya, um, indicating uh, to the uh, following uh, pitches. So, okay, so let's see the example. Okay, so it's it's uh, Idolfa construction, so it's Kitabu Men Have. Whose book is this? Kitabu Men Have. So you can do that with uh, all the other examples. Shall I? You should be able to, you know, do this on, on your own. Like you can uh, say, you know, uh, say, you can say the same thing. Halamu, Halamu Men Have. Whose pen is this? Or you could say, you know, you know, Halamu uh, Muhammad. You know, uh, a hat. I had a Qalamu Muhammad, a Qalamu Muhada, a Qalamu Muhammadan Hada. This is Muhammad's pen. An example like that. Uh, when you see two things here, like you can, you know, um, so you want to use, you might want to use Hada and, and Vatika. Like, you know, Hada, Pamisu, so and so, and Vatika, Beitu, so and so. You know, Surir, so and so. Okay, you know, or you could say, uh, Suriru Men Hada. Who's, who's Surir is this? Okay, okay, Ismun. Okay, let's see. Ismun Waladi Muhammadan. Wasmu Mulbinti Zainabun. So the name of the boy, Ismun Waladi Muhammadan, is Muhammad. Wasmu, Wasmu, remember Hamza Tawasim, Wasmun Binti, and the name of the girl, Zainabun. Ismun Mudarisi Hamidun. Masmun Mudiru. What is the name of the Mudir, the director? Masmu, why? Because of Hamza Tawasim. We go right over the Hamza. Masmun Mudiri. 
So what is the name of the mudir? Okay. Ibnun. All right. Ibnu Khalidin fil madrasati wabnu remember the Hamza Tawasa wabnu Hamidan fil jami'ati. So the son of Khalid is in the madrasa and the son of Hamid is in the jami'ah, is in the university. Ibn al-Mudarrisi fil fasl. The Mudarris, the teacher's son, Ibn al-Mudarris, Mudarrisi fil fasl. Fil fasli is in the class. Aina ibn Aina ibn Hamza Tawasl, Aina ibn al-Mudiri. Where is the son of the Mudir, of the uh, director? Okay. Iqra ma yali mura'iyan qawa'id nutq Hamza Tawasl. Okay, so read what follows and bearing in mind the uh, rules regarding the pronunciation of Hamza Tawasl. So this is to see if you understand uh, Hamza Tawasl. And we're almost done with the lesson. I wanted, I know the class has been long. I just want to finish this lesson before we move to the next one, okay? All right, so it says, Ibnu Muhammadin fil Iraqi. Iraqi, why? Because of the fee, remember? So fil Iraqi. Wabnu Hamidan fil Hindi. So Muhammad's son is in Iraq and Hamid's son is in Hind, is in India. Kharajab. Kharajab. So we're going to go right to the bab because of Hamza Tawasa. Kharajab ibn Tabibi. Kharajab ibn Tabibi. The doctor's son uh, went out. He left out Min and Bait. Kharajab ibn Tabibi, Min and Bait. Dahabab. Dahabab. We're going to go straight to the bab because of the Hamza Tawasa. Dahabab ibn a tajiru al tajiri, right? A tajiri, okay, because it's uh, Ibafa, right? The habab nut tajiri, tajiri, okay, so the son of the tajir, uh, he went, he left, uh, he went ila suki, okay, the habab nut tajiri ila suki. Ismun muhandisi, faisonun, was. Was Hamza Tawasif was Tabibi Masudin. Okay, the name of the engineer is Faisal, and the name of the Tabib, the uh, doctor, is Masud. Okay, Mas. So remember Hamza Tawasif. So when I can say Ma Ism, we're gonna say Masmu Masmu Rajuli. Masmu Rajuli. What is the name of the man? Masmu Murajuli. Okay, Ibnu Man Anta. Whose son are you? Okay, so you want to know who's your dad, basically. Ibnu man anta. An abnu an waziri. Because the Hamza Tawasal, an abnu an abnun waziri. Waziri, wazir, sorry. An abnu waziri. I am the son of the minister. Okay. And I have the Kalimata and Jadida, uh, these new words, and I think we went over all of them in the in the uh, class, but just a quick review. Uh, so Ar Rasul is the messenger, and Kaaba. Al Kaabatu is the Kaaba you know, in Mecca. Al uh, Ismu, the name, Al Ibnu is the boy or the son. Al Ammu is the paternal uncle on the father's side. Al Khalu is the maternal uncle on the mother's side. Al Haqibatu is the uh, bag. Al Siyaratu, the car. Al Shari'u, the street. Mukhlaqun. Mukhlaqun is closed. Tahta, under. Hunaka, there or over there. Al Muhandisu. And Muhannisu, the engineer. And so here, they, and they show you what we just went over. Sayyaratun Mudarrisi. And so Sayyara, uh, so the car of the uh, the teacher, the teacher's car. Sayyara is Mudaf, and Mudarris is Mudaf Ilayhi. So Mudaf means added. So it's added to the word, meaning the word after it, it's, or it's combined, okay? Conjoined, joined to the word after it. Mudaf Ilayhi is the word that uh, it was added to. It was added to this word. Okay, Mudaf Ilayhi or uh, combined and joined to it. Okay, and Alhamdulillah. So, that, so um, from there, we'll be able to move on to uh, chapter, to the, I'm sorry, lesson six in the next lesson. Uh, Barakallahu feek. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. Jazakumullahu khayna.